everyone. So, um, before I get this video started, I just want to apologize for my hair. It's kind of crazy right now. Um, I haven't really done anything with it today. So, I am sorry. And also, my lighting is very bad because I don't have my camera for one because my brother's downstairs baking for Thanksgiving and my mom has my camera, so can't do anything about that. And, um, it's almost nighttime and it's like 5.20 and it's nearly dark so I really wanted to get this oh excuse me video up today so yeah today I'm going to do a review on all the concealers I have tried and just kind of give you I don't know what concealers I like the best so one of the concealers I don't I, huh. One of the concealers I don't have here with me anymore. I actually gave it away, but I will review that too. Um, so these are my concealers. So I have four drugstore and two non-drugstore. So I'm going to go over the drugstore ones first. So the first one I'm going to go over is a concealer that I actually, this was the first concealer I ever had. And it's the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer. And this is in fair slash light and you can see that's just what it looks like um, it's very dirty because I'm a dirty person just kidding um, but you just kind of like squeeze it out and it comes out the top you can see the but yeah it's just like a little brush tip and there's like nothing left of this so I'm like rubbing it as hard as I can on here but that's what it looks like and what I love about this concealer is that it has, like, I don't know, it it's supposed to, like, match your skin. So, like, when you put it on, at first it doesn't look the same color, and then, like, it just kind of all of a sudden will, like, blend into your skin, and it's crazy. Um, it's $6, and you get 23 fluid ounces, or 7 milliliters, so that's pretty awesome. And it costs $6, did I already say that? I don't know. Um, and it's probably my favorite under eye concealer I've ever used. I need to get a new one, but yeah, you can see it just used, <laughs> this is like completely gone. So yeah, that's that. Um, next concealer is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And you can see I haven't used this in a while because it's like, the product has like fallen onto its side because it's been in my drawer for a long time and on its side. So this concealer I have to say I don't really like it. For one I'm very pale if you can't tell and this is a dark color and it's the lightest shade that they have and um, it's very liquidy <clears throat> and it doesn't have that much coverage. Um, there it is right there and when I try to like blend it in you can see it just kind of leaves a, a mark so it's too dark for me, and if you can tell, I've kind of got some allergies, sorry. Um, it's just not a good concealer. It leave, it left, it leave, it left like a grayish circle around my eye, and it just was not, not the best concealer. So I have to say, this isn't my favorite. And it's $8, I believe, and it has... That is the smallest print ever. That's what I'm trying to read. Hold on. Two, uh, eight, six point eight milliliters. There you go. Six point eight milliliters. So that's that. Next is an under eye concealer, and this is from Elf. So this costs three dollars. Their studio line, and it has. A highlighting side, which this is awful. Let me just tell you, girl, it's not good. Um, it basically is sparkles, and it just leaves like this milky stain. It's not, it's not nice looking. There is a fly. Mm. There's like two of them. Um, okay, sorry. But yeah, it's just pretty much straight up sparkles. And I don't really like that. But the concealer, there it is. 
This is in the shade Fair. Um, it's alright. I mean, it's not my favorite. I'll show you here. This, surprisingly, is a little bit light for me. Which is surprising, right? You'd think nothing would be too white for this pale child, but now, um, it just kind of ashes out my under area. It doesn't necessarily brighten it. It just kind of leaves this kind of bad, ashy look. Ashy. So, not really big on this. You get... It doesn't say... I don't know how much product you get, but obviously not near as much as you get there, so. That's that. Next is the e.l.f. Maximum Coverage Concealer, which this is actually pretty good. It's $3. Um, my tinted moisturizer is over there, but it pretty much has the same packaging as the tinted moisturizer, only it's not as long. And it has 20 milliliters, so a lot more than this concealer. This has 7. So this is 13 more milliliters than this one, so that's really good, um, and it's half the price. Um, it's supposed to be able to cover tattoos and all that stuff, and the consistency is like pretty thick, and it has pretty good coverage. Um, I find it takes a couple of layers to actually cover blemish though, and still it didn't really cover it. If you can see, I have like one on my nose, right there, and I put a couple of coats on it. It still wasn't fully covered, so I used a different concealer, which you'll see in a second. But, um, I tend to use this on my under eyes just because the rest of my concealers are either empty or not good. So this is my favorite, um, concealer. Wow! That's sad. I, I'm not even big on this one. It's my favorite drugstore concealer. So, yeah. That's three dollars, and yeah, it's pretty good. So next is Benefit Concealer, and this is Boing. Excuse me. This is in medium, so it does not suit me. It's not a good shade for me at all. Uh, I haven't tried the lighter one, but I have to say, even the medium one is really nice. It has a like great texture and everything. In the dark, it blends in with my skin, but in the light, it makes my skin look muddy. <laughs> there it is. I don't know if you can see it. My lighting's kind of bright and everything, but yeah, it blends in really nicely, and it has good coverage and everything. It's just too dark. I need to get the one that's lighter, but it's medium because I got it in this duo thing, so... You can get that at Ulta. If you're medium skin tone, buy this because it's like 12 bucks in the tip. Now time for my favorite, favorite concealer ever. And this is the Bare Minerals. I think it's called the Multitasking Concealer. I don't know. Something like that. Something along the lines of like multitasking. But I got this in the Try Believe Love Set. And it's just a small little super cute concealer. Um, and it came with like a brush and then like foundation and stuff but this is so good I love this for I put it like right there on my under eyes and it's so good and I'll just kind of try to swatch it for you um, a little bit goes a very long way but it just I don't know if you can see it there it just completely blends right into your skin seamlessly seamless <laughs> seamlessly and um it looks so good, and I love it because you can touch it throughout the day, like you can touch it up, and it's not going to look cakey and bad. It just looks really nice. So I would say it's definitely worth investing in this concealer because this covers up all of my blemishes, and it's just a powder. I didn't think a powder could be that good of coverage, but it really is, and it's so cute and little, and this is something that like always goes with me throughout the day. I just... I have it in my little makeup bag all the time, which is this thing right here, and it's so cute. And yeah, this is my all-time favorite concealer. Um, this video has been way too long, but if you'd like any in-depth reviews on anything, um, 
just tell me. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye.